Hey guys, I'm Maddie Gray, and today we're doing a whole house declutter. So before we get into this video, and it's gonna be a doozy, I'm not just talking about decluttering like one room or one closet, we're doing the whole thing. I'm decluttering my closet, uh, I'm decluttering my kids' toys, I'm even going to like the super secret storage spots that I'm getting everything out, we're going through it. I'm even going through like all my clothes, I got them all out on the bed, went through all of them. It felt so good. And I'm excited to take you along for it. I don't want to waste too much time before we get into it, but before we do, I want to talk really quick about minimalism. Why it's just so, like, important. Sometimes I'll start a sentence, and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. Like an improv conversation. An improvisation. I am on, oh lord, I don't want to use the word journey. I, I want to take you along with me as I pursue a more conscious and intentional life. And part of that, a big part of that for me, has been my relationship with my personal belongings. Minimalism just hits me somewhere. There's some stuff in my life that does add value. You know, it's not about just like getting rid of absolutely everything. But I don't want my stuff to have me. You feel me? I want my home to be a living space, not a storage space. Can I get a little... I'm doing a lot with my hands right now. It's a process of letting go and not just a physical stuff. It's a state of like being and not doing. Not that doing's wrong. Let's all be doing things with our lives. But there's this balance that I think is important and I can't even put it into words. But minimalism is a tool that I use to just be. To just be myself, to just be with my kids, to just be with my family, to just be in my house sometimes, you know? I think we hold a lot of like life stuff, emotions, undealt with stuff in the past, sentimentality that doesn't belong there. We need to handle each one, confront those things, clean out the back corners of the closet in our minds, you know? So in that way, decluttering is a part of the path. And I want to share this video with you because I do hope it inspires you to go declutter. But when you do, I want you also to be like intentional with your mindset. At first, I came to minimalism because I just like the aesthetic. I like like a clean, bright, like happy place. So yeah, so that's the thing, like minimalism has no rule book. There's not, I think I said this before, but like there's no rules about what you can keep and what you have to donate to be a minimalist. Um, you write your own rules and that's the beauty of it. I love living minimally and I think this is it, okay? It lets me live into the parts of life that I like the most, you know? It gets me more of what I want and less of what I don't. So there you go. All right, so let's not waste any more time Tony Robbinsing. Let's just get into this video. I'm gonna get everything out. Let's do it.
you need to lend a helping hand when you wake up just know that we're always there I just wanted to mention real quick, thank you for the feedback on my last video about the audio. I'm here on my couch, my kids and my dogs are here. But, um, you know what, I got a new mic, so I'm dangerous now. And I hope you can tell. And I just want to come on here and talk about things, because I can. So here's me trying to pare down my not-so-minimal wardrobe. I wish I would have shown a before shot of it, like falling out of my closet, literally. Um, but this needed to happen for sure. So I have definitely played around with capsule wardrobes in the past, and it's something I want to get better at, um, but it's something that just does not come naturally. I don't know if it's because I keep getting pregnant. Here I am folding up my Grinch jammies in March. So you guys, truthfully, I just don't know what I'm doing with clothes. So um, yeah, I think the best thing that I do, like when I like my clothes the most, I feel like I look the most put together in my clothes, is when I just pare it down. That's really it. Clearly all I wear is sports bras. Um, yeah, what I'm doing here is like just taking each piece, looking at it, being like, does this fit me? Does this have holes in it? Do I like this? Pretty much. Um, and if not, it's going in the giveaway pile. If it is, then I'm just hanging it up and putting it back in my closet. So now I'm moving on to my kids' toys. We try to really keep this minimal. I've talked about this in a different video, but this book called Simplicity Parenting, I just love. It's all about keeping things really simple and minimal for your kids and how that just helps them to thrive and like regulate their emotions. I have found that to definitely be true. So we try to go through the toys pretty often with our kids and like talk about the one in one out rule. And while I don't believe in getting rid of anybody else's personal belongings and I'm, I'm, I try to push myself all the time to be more respectful of my kids. Um, I think that practicing minimalism with them has been so good for all of us. So here we are just trying to take good care of the things we do have. Um, and when it is, you know, pared down a minimal. I find they play with it a lot more, so that's always motivating to keep things, you know, kind of pared down and minimal. And now here I am going through our entry station.
now what I'm doing is just collecting everything we're going to donate on my bed and just kind of organizing it, making it look a little nicer for when we go and drop it off at Goodwill. Okay, it is done. I want to show you everything in my car. Here it is. The whole house is decluttered. Here's everything I'm donating. Okay, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so dang much for watching this video. I tell you what, when somebody comments on my videos, I freak out. When someone likes my videos, equal freak out. Thank you so much for supporting me as I start this YouTube thing. <laughs> my dog's saying what's up. Can I help you? 502 subscribers, are you kidding me? Thank you so much for your support. I hope this video leaves you better for it. I will see you next week.